Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's Nagas Hose Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. Hope you guys are, you know, enjoying your summer vacation. But in today's video and showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to spoof slash sign in to PlayStation Network on 4.85 firmware. And this method does work with CFW and also with Hen Systems. As you guys know, if you're subscribed to me, I recently just dropped a video on how to spoof slash sign in on 4.85 firmware just for custom firmware users. If you're just a CFW user and you want to know on how to do this via with SNE enabler you can as well check out that video but for this method it does work with hen users and also for CFW users I did wanted to do more research that's why I had that video out first but in today's video I'm gonna be showing you on how to do this for you know both whether if you're on a hen system that's on 4.84 or if you're using like 4.84 rebug for example then you could use this method as well one thing I do want to state before we get into the nitty gritty and all of the um, you know prerequisites and stuff like that so go ahead and check out this video right here as showcased on the screen I will have a card and also that to the link in the description if you are on CFW or hen and you want to know more about the news in terms of 4.85 and you know want to stay up to date I do recommend to go ahead and check out that video um it explains a little bit more about in terms of 4.85 HFW and what to do and like what not to do in terms if you're going to spoof or not and as well in terms of official firmware and all of that fun stuff just to you know in terms of playing online and what to look out if you're looking for you know new custom firmware for the latest um basically update for the playstation 3 so go ahead check out that video if you want to learn more stuff about that but i do recommend um that you guys go ahead and please be sure to follow my latest social media so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials i drop on my channel anything that i um drop on my channel will also be on my twitter as well so go ahead and give that a follow so you'll never forget you know whatever videos i drop whether it be for the ps3 ps4 or you know the playstation vita as well if you do want to be in the mix of things i also recommend to go ahead and join my official discord i will have the link in the description below um in my discord as well not only you could get support you could also meet um new people from the hacking and modding scene and if you just want to get in contact with me or just want to be in my community you could just join my discord for that as well if you do want to support my channel and any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of the money that i may receive will go straight back into my channel it will help me buy things such as a better you know microphone any software editing tools a camera and it will help me just overall provide a more better quality content and also quality videos for y'all guys to watch on a daily basis for your latest hacking guys and tutorials with that being stated all today we're going to get started on the prerequisites for the playstation 3 and i'm going to be stating that any of the items i use just like any of my videos videos will be in the link in the description below so i'll have downloads for that but we could go ahead and get started on the things you need you need any playstation 3 that is on custom firmware i.e if you're using a uh, rebug fair rocks whatever it is i am on going to be using this hen but i you can also do this on like 4.84 rebug kex as well if you on hen or han any PlayStation 3 that has the latest version of Hen and Han installed, you could also do this. So if you're on 4.84 HFW, you could do this method as well. All you need for today is basically a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32, a latest version of Webman, and also you will need this file, which is going to basically, um, this is where all the magic happens. It's going to basically act like your system's on 4.85, even though if you're on 4.84. So this is the file. I will have that in the link in the description. It's just a TXT file. It's called ps3 update list.txt and this is optional you could transfer files via what files of the ftp client but for today i'm just going to be using the usb method one thing i just want to state right now is to just give a special thanks out to devil 303 for um showcasing this via on twitter i've seen his tweet about it so i tested it out it works just fine and it's a very simple method on how to do all you need is just webman and this txt file and i do highly recommend as well guys before we get started on the pc side of things if you are a Han user or a Hen user or if your system is not jailbroken yet and you're on 4.84 I do highly recommend to go ahead and check out my official playlist on my Han and Hen tutorials everything is in chronological order so if you have a PlayStation 3 that's on official firmware I highly do recommend to go ahead and follow all of that stuff as of right now since a lot of the 5.05 or excuse me 4.85 I was thinking about PS4 for a second but any um 
4.85 excuse me um firmware updates in terms of hfw all of this payloads and stuff is getting ported so it'll be a good time to learn on how to do this stuff on 4.84 with all that fun stuff getting out the way we can go ahead and get started on today's video Guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. I did make one mistake in the intro and forgot one file that we do need for the prerequisites. However, I will have that in the link in the description below, which is Multiman. If you're using the HEN version or if you're on HFW, make sure you use this version of Multiman here. And it's going to be for the HEN version of 4.84. If you're just using Rebug or anything like that, I'll just have the regular version of 4.84 Multiman or the latest version for that. But assuming that you're guys did understand that you could just go ahead and get multi-man whether if you're from hen or cfw in the link in the description below so download that file to your um desktop as well we're going to need the latest version of Wamman mod it doesn't matter if it's you're on hen or cfw for this it all works the same so make sure um, you have the latest version of webman mod if you already have multi-man and already webman mod installed on your playstation 3 then you can skip most of the stuff i'm saying for this video however um if you don't have it installed that's why i'm just going to go through everything in this video so everyone's on the same page but once you have multi-man webman you also need ps3 up or excuse me update list.txt this is going to basically allow your playstation 3 to spoof to 4.85 without doing anything crazy so make sure to do not touch any of the stuff stated here in this um txt file just leave it be but what we're going to do now is just go ahead and get these files three files transferred over via with a usb so what we're going to do now is plug in our usb cable to our um or excuse me a usb stick to our pc so go ahead and do that what i'm going to do now is open up file explorer and find my usb so here is my usb here what for all my playstation 3 stuff it is pretty messy right now but i'm going to be showcasing on how to uh, format this if it's on fat32 or not or to basically check and how to format that if it's on ntfs or xfat so as showcased here what we need to do once you plug in your usb drive go into properties if it's on file system fat32 what we need to do is basically switch it or if it's on fat32 it's fine but if it's on xfat or ntfs we basically need to reformat our hard drive due to the fact that the playstation 3 cannot read um file systems like ntfs or xfat onto it in terms of installing packages so on the way on how to do that if your thing is on xfat or ntfs make sure to back up any data on your usb drive since um it is kind of uh you know important for that because anytime you reformat your usb drive in windows it will erase all your data clean so if you have a secondary usb or you want to just back up your files into a random folder on your desktop you could go ahead and do that but what i'm going to do is just showcase to assume that if you don't care about your files or you already have it backed up on the next step so once you got your files backed up what we need to do is go into format go into capacity so go ahead and choose the highest capacity that your usb drive supports if you think on fat32 or basically not fat32 or it's on ntfs or xfat make sure you toggle to fat32 for your allocation unit size just go ahead and hit default volume label it doesn't matter this is just what you name your uh basically your usb drive i just named mine sony so i remember it's for my playstation 3 as well what you want to do is hit quick format make sure it's checked mark and toggled on and then go ahead and hit start and then hit okay i don't really care about any of these files on here so i'm just going to do the process as well since i already have a backup of it and then once you reformat you'll should a statement on your pc that says it's formatted complete now if we go back into our usb drive go into file explorer go into your usb drive right click properties you should see that it's on fat32 so now that we got that done what we're going to do is go ahead and take our three files that we just um stated we need and get them installed to our playstation 3 so i'm just waiting for the multi-man and webman package to copy over and then, yep, it's fine right here. We got all of our three files onto the root of the USB. What we're gonna do now is go ahead, exit this out, right click here, go to our hidden icons, then to go here and hit eject whatever USB drive you already have. Make sure you know which one is which. And then once you safely ejected it out of your PC, what we're gonna do is go ahead to the PlayStation 3, go ahead and plug in our USB into the ps3 into whatever slot and get these two pkgs installed and also get this a uh, file to get set up on the ps3 so i'll meet you guys on there all right guys so as showcased here we're basically back onto the playstation 3 i already have my usb cable in what we need to do if you're on hand go ahead and enable hand right now 
So I'm assuming that you're already on hen for this process. If you want a custom firmware PS3, um, you don't already have to do this step. You could just go ahead and skip it. But once you're on hen, just go ahead and hit yes. Now what we need to do, assuming that you don't have webman installed or multiman, we're just going to go ahead and reinstall those two files. So I'm going to go into package manager right here. Go and install package files, standard, and we're going to go ahead and install multiman. I already have it installed, but I'm just going to go ahead and showcase the installation part. And then what we're going to do is also get webman installed as well. So let me go ahead into webman and get that installed. And then once um, these two PKG files get successfully installed, we're going to go ahead and run into multiman and get the TXT um, placed in under dev underscore HDD zero. So I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. Okay, so that is fully done. What we're going to do now is go boot into multiman right here. If it's your first time running multiman, all you would have to do is just hit yes a couple times just to read the terms of service. I'm not going to read through it since I already um, read through it before and I've been using multiman ever since 2015. So I'm kind of used to this. Now, what we're going to do is just go ahead and wait for it to basically boot up on a screen. It's applying the standard theme and this is normal for the installation part of things. But once um, multiman is fully done, what we're going to do just go ahead and scroll all the way to the left to file manager multiman operating system and then from here what we're going to do is go into ps3 root dev underscore um usb 00 first yours may say usb 001002 depending on what slot you put in your uh, usb on your playstation 3 but as long as you see dev underscore usb 00 that's fine double click x now we're going to go take this ps3 update list.txt go into copy go into ps3 root Go into dev underscore ACD zero, and we're just going to go ahead and paste this onto the root of this section. So once you paste um, this file right here, the update TXT, we're good to go. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and back out. And we're going to go ahead, scroll all the way to the left and quit out a multiman. And then we're going to get webman fully installed as well. All right, guys, so we're going to back onto the XMB as showcased here. What we need to do is go ahead and install webman mod. So if you're going to use the full version, make sure once you boot into it, hold down L1. And if you want the light version, go ahead and hit X. So depending on what you want to use, go ahead and select that. But I'm going to be doing the full edition. So right now, once I boot into it, make sure you hit L1 for the process. And once um, you boot into Webman or once it basically restarts your PlayStation 3, you should have got a black screen. What we're going to do now, if you're on HEN once again, just go ahead and enable it as normal. If you're on CFW, of course, you don't have to do this step right here. But once you enable HEN, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up the browser. Now, what we're going to do from here, I'm just going to go ahead and showcase that I am on um, 4.84 right now or should automatically maybe spoof me to 4.85 so let me go into system information i'm on 4.84 but what i'm going to do is go ahead and sign in online without it asking me basically to update my system so i'm going to go ahead and showcase that right now and as showcased here guys i have successfully signed into my psn account without being on 4.85 so what i'm going to do here is just showcase real quick if I go into my um, system settings, I'm going to go back into system information as showcased here. I'm on 4.84 and yep, that's how successfully you install or basically go online on 4.85. And this method does work with custom firmware and also with hen. So with that being stated as of right now, hope you guys did learn something new into this video. If you have any questions or any troubles on how to set this up, please be sure to follow my um, discord and join that. But with that being stated, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.